Well, we, we, we had to see if we could figure a way out to do this, really. And, um, and I mean, the real story of Eric's relation with the fan, I think, could have been a, a brilliant story. But also, when you're dealing with the biographical detail of someone, it's quite a heavy burden and responsibility to carry. So I suppose the, the attraction of the fictitious uh, has its own great attraction, really. So but I suppose the secret was actually seeing this wonderful goal that Eric scored against Sunderland. Mm -hmm. And it's a man just full of confidence at the peak of his career, a goal of tremendous, you know, wit and intelligence. And his attitude after, the, after scoring was just like turning to the fans with massive confidence. And I just thought, well, what if in the terrace that same day there's a man who's fallen to pieces, who's slipping through his own fingers, who's a granddad, who hasn't sorted out his past, he's got no insight into his problems, and then um, he has an imaginary relationship with Eric Cantona.